So, Captain and Bagheera sent you with me, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Gee, I wonder how this could get any more awkward. Tell me about it. Look at your butt when you're in front of me. Last I checked, at least I follow orders. Please, when, where, how? I follow everyone's orders. No, you don't. Everybody knows you're just trying to make your daddy happy. You would know. Shall we do this, please? All right. Hmm, what should we practice first? Well, Captain did say you needed to work on your sneak attack, so might as well work on that first. My sneak attack is just fine. Captain said you needed to work on it. Well, Captain said doesn't mean it's true. I mean, I have been doing sneak attacks since I was smaller than you. Yeah, so bye bye. I'm pretty much a professional by now. Whatever. Your head is big. You just have a big head. Yeah, for all those brains that are in there. <laughs> Whatever. Also about the whole parent thing. I don't want to go there, okay? And if you were ever a friend, you wouldn't either. Look, I understand what it's like to lose someone important to you. And he goes there anyways. No, you need to understand. If you go there, I'm walking. Yep, you're stubborn. <sighs> Headache started. <sighs> it can't. Feels like I'm losing control again. Huh. I need to work on the roar, but what? If only I had someone actually help me with the roar. Captain. Huh? Who are you? I am Iskari. I am one of Captain's old friends, but I have died in the war. In the war, I will help you with your roar. What? I had the roar way before you did, and I will help you work on it. Are you sure? I am positive on this. Well. I trust you. Here you stand on the edge of earth and sky. You can command them both if you try. But within you may find even more. As Captain, follow me.
didn't tell me you had friend with the roar. We will work on it more, Khan. That's the only thing that's you're missing from your training. But other than that, you're all good. Um, thanks, Ascari. Oh, um, hey guys. What was that? What are you talking about? Um... Sometimes it's best not to ask questions. Well, while he was helping me with my roar, Skari told me that he was a friend of yours, but he died in the war. One of the wars. Your friend came to see me a few minutes ago. I wanted to get her training, and I told her, to work on her pa her sneak attack, because remember you said she needs to work on her sneak attack as well. She says she can't work with you. Gee, I can't imagine why. Because you're bringing up the late mom. I don't know what's gone into me, to be honest. I mean, I agree with Kion on this one. It's because maybe it's because of his scar. Is this, he is you bring up your friend's dead mother. Throw it in her face and you want to blame it because of your scar. Well, he's normally not like that. I'm putting somebody else in Kira's. In... I'm putting somebody else to train her. Might as well be Bagheera because obviously Kion still needs to get over that stinking scar. I've seen this before. I'm pretty much a professional at this point. You realize her mother is not dead. Her mother abandoned her. That's totally different from being dead. You would know a thing or two about that, wouldn't you? A true leader does not bring up someone's past in order to intimidate them to practice. Well, to be fair, she brought up his, fa his him impressing his father. It so doesn't matter. His it's kind of payback. <sighs> like you would understand because your family abandoned you just as much. Oh, shut up. I don't take orders from you. Only Godzilla. Weren't you a little too harsh on Kion, Foley? Because I'm sure he meant well. Because, obviously, Kion's going through a lot with his dead brother. So, yeah. He's gonna be a little bit, uh, moody. I think he's just more than moody. I think he's just flat out frustrated. Hey guys, guess what? Are you ignoring me right now? Okay, yes she is, because she's a teenager. I don't want to do this anymore. Alright. I don't want to do any of it. It's about time you found out the truth about Kion. You don't, you're not listening to me. And you're not listening to I me. I don't care about Kion. I'm talking you should. about me. You need to stop worrying so much about yourself. Oh my gosh. Just listen for once, fully. <laughs> you listen to me. I'm older than you. I adopted you. Uh... Kion's trying to remove you from the fight on purpose. Fine. 
No, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. I don't want to be in a fight. I don't want to be here. I don't want to keep getting reminded that I was adopted and I have no mother. I'm tired of it. Tired, 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 tired. He only wanted, he only said that to remove you from the fight. You're not listening. No, you're not listening. You're not listening to me. As always, because you never ever do. Because I am your adopted father. So what? You still have to follow my rules. Not anymore, I don't. You're not an adult yet. Neither is Kion. He's only doing this because he... I don't care. How do I put this lightly? <laughs> He's doing this because he cares I about... I don't care! ...about you. Of course, this stubborn little girl. Me? Stubborn? No. You're stubborn because you won't listen to me. Nobody ever listens to what I say. It's kind on this and kind on that and kind on, kind on, kind on. I'm sick of it. You must understand that he's... I don't have to understand. Why should I understand when nobody understands me? Or is willing to listen to me? As Simba puts it... <sighs> this is all Captain's fault. He wanted me to train her. Maybe I should go find Captain and tell him what's going on here. Because that girl is stubborn. She never listens. Captain, you made a mistake making Kai on the future of the Pride Lands. Did I know? Mm-hmm. You did. Because of that, Fully won't listen to me. You need to, to fatherhood. You need to change this up now. Excuse me, I don't take orders from you. And I don't take orders from you anymore. I'm done. Fine. Quitter. I'm not a quitter. You just ruined the relationship between me and my daughter. <sighs> What's his problem? Me, I ruined the relationship between him and his daughter. How did you do that? By asking him to train his daughter. Um. Okay, so I just got done talking to Rafiki on why Kion's acting so weird lately. Why he's been so moody. Rafiki said it is because of his scar. Really? Yes. Well, that's not good. So Kion went off on his own to go face Scar himself. To go what? You heard me. And Bagheera legit explained to him, or tried to explain fully, that Kion doesn't even want her in this fight anymore because he's starting to care too much about her. So he went off on his own to face Scar. Great. Well, any ideas, Cap? Any ideas? We don't stop him. We don't stop him. No. Fine. He's your son. If he is, if that, if Scar is getting into his head, it's only best that he faces his fears. I learned that I learned that experience a long time ago. Okay.
Scar. What? It's time we end this. It's you trying to stop me? Oh, please. I wouldn't underestimate me if I were you. I've gone toe to toe with you before and I held my own. You did and I am impressed. But there's no way you can hold your own against me now, child. You really want to make that bet? If killing you means taking the kingdom by force, then yes. Your funeral, pal. You don't see the Kdi, Kion. You're growing more and more like me every day, even though the Kaiju don't see it, and your friends and family don't see it. I do. You're more than just like me. You are me. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far if I were you. Where is that girl? Great. Yeah. I'm waiting over here. Trying to expose Kion's secret to her. Yeah, real smart. Real smart. Hello, Miss Foley. Hi. So. Oh. I accidentally. What's wrong? I don't know. I feel like I went out of here. Like I've had enough. You wouldn't listen to Captain or Bagheera, but will you listen to us? I don't want to listen to her yet. I'm just tired. I feel like... Like, I don't belong here. Like, I don't need to be here anymore. Like, I belong out there in the world, in the wild. Ooh, and then we shouldn't mention Kyle wants to go for a school on his own. I don't know. I just know I don't want to be here. Because everybody has rules. And everybody's talking about Kion. Kion this, Kion that. Nobody will listen to me anymore. Kind of captain's fault because he made Kion the future of the Pride Lands and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, maybe it's not you, Kion. Maybe it's just me. Kion has been trying to help you this whole time. Yeah. Just it. I don't want help. I don't want people telling me anything. I just want to be left alone. What if we told you Kong gives orders because he cares? I don't care. I just want to. I don't want to talk to explain. I mean, we would let you stay at our place where we raise Simba, but. No, they'd find me there. Exactly. I want to go somewhere where nobody knows the world. A whole new place. Where nobody's ever been. And there's just green as far as the eye can see. No bad, no, no wars, no people telling you this and that, and nobody talking about your past, or whether or not you have a mom or a dad, or whether or not you belong to anybody. Okay, if you want kind of depressed, I would say go for it. Come on! See, Pumba, that's exactly what I mean. Timon has always been the uh, strict type between the two of us. I don't know if you noticed that. Like, I can't do anything because if I do it, something bad will happen and it'll be all my fault. I'm just done, I think. I think. Oh. Well, uh. You know, I won't 
seen my mother a few times in my whole entire life. Uh, no, you didn't want me to bring up Kion, but... And then, poof, all of a sudden she's just gone. And I was left in the forest, all by myself. You thought Tom was joking when he met, when he said he knows what that felt like, didn't you? <sighs> just hear me out here. No! No, 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 no! Time to finish this. Could it <laughs> agree more? him handle this. actually gotten stronger. I don't know how, I don't know why, but he's stronger now. Yeah, no kidding. Why did you end up fighting him, Khan? It wasn't supposed to end in a fight. I just wanted to know the cure for the scar, or how to heal it. Rafiki couldn't do anything about it, so the only best way was to confront Scar about it. I need to go.
Jeez, Simba, harsh parenthood, don't you think? Um, well, uh, we need to go. Bye! Simba. Yeah? Will he be okay? Wish I knew. That scar has really gone to his head. Normally I would be mad at him for going off on his own, but... You're not. No. I'm not. I am furious that he went looking for trouble. He didn't go looking for trouble. He went to Scar and he knows if he goes to Scar, there's going to be trouble. No ands, ands, or buts about it. He's, he told me he was looking for a cure. There is no cure. Maybe not to a Scar. He just needs to understand that. Yes. See what happens when Godzilla is absent? We're just gonna take a nap now. Everything is just a mess. Our son is not all there. He, he's fighting an endless battle. To be fair, I'm not In one week, our world is gonna explode and nobody is ready. Well, I'm not putting the blame on anyone here, but Captain told me to make Kai on the future of the Pride Lands. I'm just taking his word for it. Wait, what? I can tell you no such thing. You... Your son was Captain way before I ever got here. He wasn't relentless when, before you got here. He wasn't fearless when you got here. Oh my gosh, I words, everything's my fault. I'm not saying it's it? your, I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm just saying he might want to be like you. A great oh, leader. Please. Every one of them was inspired by someone. I would know. But Kion is just complicated. <laughs> to be continued.